What's up, guys? What's up? Stoops Game here. Welcome to episode 2 of Mafia 3 Definitive Edition. Let's do it. Let's head upstairs with our boy Lincoln Clay. Yesterday was fun. First episode. This is going to be good, too. Here we go. Okay. Let's see what Sammy's got to say. Together. Now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ. Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you would have listened to me. What mess? It's not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to. Boy, I'm not eyes. warning you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, truck's all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for... Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know it is. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Go on. Those people waiting on their food. Oh, I saw Lincoln a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay and help. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. Good trait to have in the uh, Mafia life. Warm Hearts Neighborhood Kitchen, February 21st, 68. Six days before Mardi Gras. Well, most likely, More Mardi Gras. Three month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. Right. Tail, Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. I'm gonna wait a few days. Link they won't spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't hear it, but they'll come around. You need hey, what's up, man? For you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. Oh, food? The gumbo, sir. Give the gumbo. Best, yes, sir. I guess. Warm meal, warm heart, full shot. Thanks. Hello. You delivering a real blessing here, Lincoln. Thank you. Blessings mine, ma'am. Couple of days back and they already got you working? Ah, I'm happy to do it. it. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. Don't get old, son. It's a fucking shit show. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. All right. Hey there, Lincoln. What's How up? are you, Regine? I'm good. Nice to see you around the holler again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Lincoln, we got trouble. Oh, Roll shit. Regine. Once I we're done ahead. with you, Lincoln. Next. Oh! We have to go. We have to get out of here. Watch out! Motherfuckers over here! Gun, gun, gun. No gun. Careful, Regine. Shit, man, this is a savage. No! Guns are gonna be my weakness here. 
Oh my god! Give me the gun. Patience. God damn, man. Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Hey, Falcone's there, and so's Leo. That's kind of cool. You and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Six, uh, seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on the law started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. With this thing with the Haitians, it's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How are we gonna find them? Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. Do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Do this quiet. Away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. Be careful, yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. C'est lié que c'est divers et c'est suscite hostilité. All right, let's get into this thing. This is your first real mafia-esque job. Let's do it. So we got a piece on us, apparently. Ooh, sounds like we're in the swamp. Yeah, okay. You sure this is how you want to play this? Last thing yeah. they're gonna expect is an attack from the water. He, you um, head back around the road. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. All right. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. Yeah. Thank you, Ellis. Swim. I guess we're getting wet. We get regime wet later, you know. All right. Thank you, Ellis. See you in a bit, man. Yeah. You know this in the first game. What we carry? A pistol. Okay. Try to stay quiet for now. There's one. Of, there's another guy over there. Oh. My ears are ringing. I hear my name. Okay. It's fine. I'll keep my pistol. Let's 
shit. Nah, you saw nothing. Nothing. I did see this from the beginning. Another guy over here. Peace out, homie. Do we dub this body? Yeah. Okay. He literally Oh Is that a gator? That's Okay. <laughs> That's a gator. That's sick. I didn't see I wanna see that again. Hold on. Don't this body. Might as well, right? I need to see that. I didn't see it, I was turned away. Okay. That is so cool. Okay, leave that guy there, that's fine. Get up, let's go. Anything down here? Gun, I'll stick up the shoddy. Oh shit. Should have killed that old man a lot. Whistle. Thin them out. The boss was worried that Sammy would involve Marcano. Ask him to come down on us. Let's listen to what they say first. Shit about some worn out nigga. Long as the money's coming in, Marcano don't care who's handing it to him. The fuck? The fuck? Come on, man. You wanna go to a baseball bat? Yeah, that echo will help you against Lincoln Clay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see what I'm saying? Lincoln is just brutal. Man's is crazy. Yeah, that's not a good enough spot to hide. Lincoln's a big dude, how can he just hide? Fucking huge. There's dudes over there. I see those few guys, yeah. That won't work. It's okay. Couple guys over there. Okay, let me check this house. It's gonna be like a good little base. No one's home. Okay. Find Baka. No idea who that is. I haven't heard his name. Shit. Lincoln. Shit. Did you just call me a pussy? I'm out in front. Yeah, well done, man. Alright, I don't work quiet, I guess. <laughs> Save the shotty. There's gotta be so many guys here, the ammo is just not gonna su be sufficient. Seriously. I don't think I would have enough ammo for this shit, man.
Yeah, do that. Do more one shots, Luke. Didn't hit the numbers a bit there. Always good. Don't know where anyone is. There's two dead motherfuckers over there now, man. Should have kept your mouth shut. Who was he talking to? Who else was left? I think I did pretty good. You got to check this shit out. Shit. Okay, when he comes around. This is a take down. Damn ridiculous. He said multiple people saw me. There's the other. There's more motherfuckers than I thought. It's going. Get him, get in cover. This is a good vantage point. My health is alright right now, so. No, if there's a day you die, motherfucker. Watch out! Oh, yeah, you should watch out. Not me. Alright, I think I'm good. Let's kick these motherfuckers down. Shoddy time. Yeah. Yeah. What you saying, bro? Fuck you. Who Fuck you. You made a big mistake going after the hollow. The man you're talking about took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you. Oh my goodness! You good? He just snapped his neck. You can't take those shoes! You fucking pig! Damn you to her! Take it easy! Take it easy! Take it easy! He kept me in there, locked in there, day and night. Beat me. Use me. I can't, you motherfucker. You and your entire goddamn family. He's dead. He's dead. He can't hurt you anymore. It's over. Over? Over. <laughs> this is never going to be over. Pajam! Fucking Haitians. Get to Ellis. Got you. Crap. Gotta get through all these people again. That bitch was crazy. Seriously, what the? Oh. Getting 
shit, there's a lot of them. Trying to use multiple shots on these motherfuckers. I need to. Do I have one shot? Drop it on yourself. Yeah, drop that on yourself too, bro. No way you're alive. Okay, I saw him move. Shit. Now let's watch you burn, motherfucker. Okay. That must have fucking caught some sins. Make sure he's gone. We ain't stopping till we find you, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> This one tap. Where is it coming from? I only have 14 shots of the pistol. Alice, come on, man. What was his whole role in this? Is he the getaway? Is that all he was? Or how do you manage to fuck it up? No. Oh! Look, get out the fire, dumbass. I don't know where I am. Yourself, bro. That ain't a smart thing to do, is it? I know I'm going backwards, but there's health. Don't have a lot of ammo. Again. Like that? Okay. Let me get this guy in front of me first. There's too many of them. Not too many, but a lot. Shit. No much, no more ammo. One of the guys I killed back here has got to have ammo. Okay. Okay. 
Hey, never mind now. Down. Okay, well, we just took some drugs. Any pistol ammo? Oh, let's go. Like you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Tell it. About fucking time. Yeah, it's about time, man. Let me in. Oh, well. Guess we're the drivers. Driving these supposed to drive. So drive these supposed to press the little down directional button. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. Drive to dad. Sanders. Fuck it, it's your car. Bash it up all you want. Drive to Sanders. Where was I? Always gotta get you out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How to go with Bob? We came to an understanding. Yeah. <laughs> stay dead, not let him. Let's yeah. Get back to Sanders. Can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. And this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on us. Yeah, we get home way, two days or he's down. done. Go back to how they should be. Get work for that, us, Ken. We need to do something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Yeah. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, this makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. Don't matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God. We all go sometime, right? I suppose. But Ellis, we don't need to talk about it. I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow is going to be looking to us a gunning for us. Yeah. Just saying we got to be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well, that's not something we got to worry about right now. So yeah, once we get back on the app. Yeah, all right? Yeah, all right. This car is fast. Like, it's a nice car. It's our car, so. We're doing good for ourselves. Them for years. The screen is Days after we get home, we deal with it. We can't live without us, can they? I'm going to explore a lot. Uh, hopefully there's like a free roam kind of mode in this game. That's like the remake of the first. Because this game, this map seems super awesome. Like the French Quarter. That's my bad. You can now perform multiple functions. My bad, that was. Changing the channel to adjusting the volume without ever leaving your chair. I just love Holden's prices. Get back here. What? Bro, man, why? Samson Drifter. I did. I, I did feel like we've seen this car before in other games. The Samson Drifter. Is it like a parking like little? Kids love. Are you just fucking hilarious? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. We parked Sammy. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Ellis. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, stop right here. Just enough to satisfy her. The little ones love the little Hank burger. A tiny burger that's just as tasty as mommy it's and daddy's bigger me. burgers. But okay. I didn't drive far enough. Lincoln didn't understand. Or maybe want to understand. Is that for a man like Sammy, there's always going to be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going in. That's how Lincoln ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. They won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. 
I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day. I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the way. Sooner or later, I'll pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we gonna do about Marcano? Pay him his goddamn money one way or the other. Lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there to help. Now, they may not like it, but they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. I always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. <laughs>